Morning. Anna. Morning. Welcome back to the vlog. What, what does Cheers Ears say? Morning, you lovely lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, from Cheers Ears. And what does Paige and Mr. Morrow say? Oh, I've forgotten now. I had it in my head just to make. Definitely on the wind down now, definitely on the countdown to the going home. Uh, we've just done a load of washing this morning, so it's a little bit later in the day than normal for us to start the vlog. So, we forgot to end last night's vlog. So I'm really oh, yeah, but I need to, to do that, Lil. We need we, to do that. We had a, we had a, a quiet moment last night, um, just a personal moment, so I'm really sorry we didn't end the vlog last night. Yes, definitely. Um, meant a lot to us, did that. Um, so yeah, so today we're just about to go to All Stars Sport uh, to see Bryony off. Right, it's Bryony's last day in the Disney bubble. She's going over to her aunties in Tampa for a few weeks, which is lovely. Uh, so unfortunately, we get Reese back, who will eat us out of house and home. Um, but yeah, so we're just on his way there. We're going to get an Uber across, and then we're going into Hollywood Studios. We're having tea at Sebastian's which oh, Corey meets world it's a Car that's a Caribbean Beach Resort Hotel so we're gonna do a bit more resort hopping which is gonna be fun yeah and Corey meets world said it is the best all-you-can-eat buffet on property so we'll find out what he says and see if it's right and if we agree with him like the Free Bridges burger uh, and then we're off to Magic Kingdom to watch Enchantment again this time we're gonna get to go down Main Street to watch it so that we can see the projections down Main Street, um, so see a different angle of it. So, ho really looking forward to that. The park doesn't close till 11, so we might be able to get on a few rides afterwards as well, which will be really, really good. And we'll see how it goes. Sorry, you've got a quiet Lily, but um, Lily's dance teacher moved out here in 2019, um, her old dance teacher, I should say, and um, she fabulously arranged for Lily to dance last night. So from five till nine, Lily was dancing at Peaches, music and dance in Orlando with some amazing dancers and they have got some amazing um, teachers. Um, she was so, so lucky because we met Ashton. He is in Cirque du Soleil's Drawn to Life. He's the pencil. And then after ballet class, we found out that Paolo, who was her ballet teacher, actually is one of the birds in Festival of the Lion King that's on an animal kingdom. We literally watched him front and centre the day before and then last night Lily got to dance with him. It was absolutely incredible. Um, we had the best night ever. We caught with the, we caught with Lily's dance teacher Rachel and her daughter Juliet. It was just fab. Absolutely fab. So uh, now we're just going to go say our goodbyes to Bryony and we'll see her again in a couple of weeks because she'll be home then um, and pick up Reese Boy again. So you'll get his grumpy face on the camera now so I'm really sorry. But yeah, just having a wander through uh, the lobby of Grand Destino. Again, every time I walk in, it just takes my breath away. It smells absolutely gorgeous as well. So we're just gonna, uh, I'm gonna just turn you around and let you have another quick look, because it's just, oh, amazing. Cafe. It's only open. Seven. Wow. How cool is that? Oh, look at the size of them donuts, Lily. I know. Yeah. Do you see the um, Disney RV out there? That was yeah. so cool. And we saw some drinks. Some drinks. Is one of them mine? So we've just got an Uber down to All Star Sports where Lily and uh, Lily, Reese and Bryony have been stopping. 
So we're just going to have a wander through here to see what it's like. Not been to this resort before. Oh, Lily's found a cute stitch. It's Ghost Stitch! Happy Halloween 2022. How much is it? $26. $26 for Ghost Stitch. So yeah, so we're just going to have a wander around here, see what the resort's like, and see what we think, oh God, uh, so and see cool. where we go from there. So we've just been in the shop, uh, nice. had a little look around, it's a really nice shop, little shop there, has all the usual um, uh, commodities, things in there, a few snacks as well, yeah, uh, drinks as well. Uh, I think people are trying to repack here as we go home. So now we're just having a wander into end zone. So have a look, quick look around End Zone, which is the restaurant here. We've got a games arcade and a pool out there, but we won't show you the pool because people are swimming in it. Uh, I don't think that's right. But let's have a quick wander. Braised beef. Ooh, that looks nice. Chicken dinner, impossible burger. Mobile ordering available here on site, which is good. Um, the market. Beverages. It looks really nice. It looks like a nice hotel. Yeah, it does. I'd, I'd stay here. Yeah. yeah. So we've just come outside and there's a massive American football. Oh wow. Look at the size of that. That's huge. So it's obviously filmed all around sports. I can see a baseball bat in the different. There's an American football helmet there. Surfboards are up this side here as well, which look absolutely cool. They're brightly coloured. Um, it definitely is a, a nicely bright resort, which is good. Table tennis tables there. Basketball down that way. Basketball down that way, did you say? Oh yeah, basketball down that way. A massive Coke stand. So, it doesn't actually look that big a resort, really, when you compare to the likes of Coronado, where we're currently stopping. Um, everything seems to be pretty close. There's a massive, I love that Coke in the background there, that massive Coke. Lily at the back. Oh my god! Oh, and we're about to come out onto some AstroTurf here, which looks like an American football field. So you could actually play American football in this area. So guys, we've just said bye to Bryony. She's now going across to her auntie's. Uh, so we've just come outside to wait for the bus here at Sports. A uh, little bit different, it's a little bit outside. Uh, there's no shaded area for us out here like there is at Grand Sestina or in our bus stop for. So it's going to be a little bit, get a little bit warm I suppose, waiting for people. But the bus stops are quite quiet here. So again, just heard the guy say that all the ride times are quite low, That's which is Magic really Kingdom. good in Magic Kingdom. So that should be the same across all the parks. Um, but it's a great time of year to come is this, because the second week is quite quiet. Um, it will probably get very busy tomorrow as it's coming up to Labor Day weekend. Um, so that's one to watch. But as it's our last weekend, our last few days, we'll be taking it easy, wandering around the park, not doing too much and packing ready to come home. So, slight change of plan. Uh, we got to do Hollywood Studios. We thought, right, we haven't done enough of magic. We've done Hollywood quite a bit. So we thought, right, let's jump on, change the reservation. So easy to modify the reservation now. Really, really easy. Just went online. Quick modification for all three of us, and we're in magic. We're in magic. Back Snow in Magic White. Kingdom. Oh, Snow White, it's there. Where's Mummy gone? You ain't got your book with you. You got your book? Do you not? No. You can get pictures. Go get pictures. Right. So straight away as we walk in, the Snow White greeting guests. Um, so we're just going to go queue up now to meet Sir White, his Lily, which will be cute, and get a photo bit before we pass there. Uh, and then we'll have a wander around Magic. I've got always, when we're in Magic, what do we have to do? We have to do the People Mover. So we'll go get on the People Mover. Lily hasn't done Small World yet, uh, which is surprising. So we'll do that, record it in full length. We'll do it four, go four or five times on a video and then give it to Uncle Stu so he can ask to watch it, sit and watch it with Lily over and over again. Uh, and then we'll try and get on a few other bits and pieces while we're here. So let's see how we do. So Lily's just gone to meet Snow White over there. Uh, and while we're here, I thought I'd just give you a quick scan round. There's the, what's that, is that the theatre, Town Square Theatre? And then there's confectionery, confectionery, the Emporium, obviously Main Street there. Then we're going across here to City Hall. 
and where the fire station is. So just behind me here now is the railway station. The characters sometimes come out on top up here, which is quite good in the way of the crowds and everything. But with this train station being down at the moment, because it's the train track is being dug up for Tron. So Tron's in the final throws. So hopefully next time we come, the trains will be back operational and running. But down here is quite cute. There's lots of history. Right, Disney was absolutely crazy on trains. He loved trains. Uh, he had his own personal train track in his in his garden at one point um, which he used to ride on a steam train so it's absolutely brilliant uh, there's a picture of Roy Disney Grand Union Pacific Railways their maps and everything so it's really nicely filmed around here and you can get collectible pennies as well is that Lillian is that a picture of Lillian there it is a picture of Lillian Disney on there, Lily Bell, different maps of different train routes, Walter E. Disney, and there's the man himself, Walt Disney, who we all have to thank for this wonderful plan. Him and Roy did a cracking job. So yeah, so this is the train station, and then once the girls have finished meeting Snow White, we'll have a wander down Main Street and head towards the TTA. The People Mover, Nadine's favourite ride. So here's the girl's statues for Lady and the Tramp. Oh, my, been buzzing, so let's see if we can get it working. A few barks there from Lady and the Tramp for the 50th from, the, from their gold statue. So there's the train station, all its glory. Beautiful entrance to a park, can't beat it. We'll have a look around. Obviously we've come in late August so the whole of the park is now changed over towards Halloween. Um, mix up, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties are on at the moment. I think they're normally a Tuesday and Thursday night so they have lots of treats on those nights and then they have lots of uh, fireworks, different fireworks as well but all the theming now is towards it being Halloween. Uh, the, the rosettes and everything have changed to orange. There's see you real soon over there on the actually exit which looks really good but yeah it's well themed as always can't beat it You too? Cool! Got a picture with Stitch. Right, let's get in this people mover line. If you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. Right, so we're not allowed to use jetpacks today, Lily. Aww, I didn't know. 
coming round now onto the main street, Red the Silver central hub, and there's the castle. Rolling through the future, right by two of my favorite spots. You can smell the petrol still from it, can't you? Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please there it is. Is anybody on it? Thank you. Oh, nobody's on that one. Well, next time we're here. You can just hear the screams as they're going through the drops and everything. Yeah. See light. Go towards the light. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Hey. Please contact Mr. Johnson at the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Pop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. Wait, is that one? Oh, fireworks going up, Lil. Going on, Space Rangers. Report to your star cruiser and join me on this daring space mission. I can see you on reserve. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite part. Because now is the time. Now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow. Today. See you in the future. So we just grabbed a quick bite to eat uh, from Fry Harbour House, Columbia Harbour House, just a couple of chips and some drinks and we're going to wait for the parade but unfortunately there's a big black storm cloud coming in so we're going to miss out on that unfortunately. Um, so we're going to have a wander up now to see if we have a ride on Small World so we can we get that done and ticked off the bucket list uh, and then we'll see where we go from. Hi, No, weak. No chance. You're not worthy. Not worthy. Not worthy. Never mind, backside of water. Backside of the castle. The iridescent castle. So Lily, we've just done Small World. What's your review review with Small World? Best ride ever, you can never go wrong with Small World. It's the best song ever. Uncle Stu, you should go on it seven thousand times, you should never come off. That's just mean. That it's is the worst true. thing you can think of anybody. Oh yeah, we've got a photo pass. Probably one of the best views of the castle in the park. Beautiful looking over onto the water. 
2019 when we came they were still renovating all this area and it, it looked it was under construction but now it's completed it looks absolutely beautiful great views of the castle and there's the front side of the castle in all its glory we've just had our magic band pluses vibrate so Lily's over here trying Daisy no I'll try Donald Brilliant. Greetings, friends from near and far. Welcome to the Magical Friendship Fair. She's got longer legs than what you think. So guys, we've left Magic Kingdom and we've had a short bus journey, which wasn't too bad at this Caribbean beach. Um, it looks really nice, really cool, cool here today. The skyline is down because we were hoping to get the Skyliner back, but it looks like it's down at the moment. Um, so hopefully the weather will pass and we'll be able to get on the Skyliner across to Epcot then from Epcot on the monorail across to Magic Kingdom to go watch the fireworks tonight. So we'll just have a quick look like around Caribbean Beach. And there's Lily dancing in the background, as always. So we're just coming into the main entrance now, into the lobby area of Caribbean Beach. Ooh, this is nice. Mmm. -hmm. This is really nice. We'll have a look around. I think Reese is here or somewhere around, so we'll... Sebastian's is down there. Right, okay, so we know where Sebastian's is. So just come in and have a look, quick look around the store. That's a nice jacket. $64. That's not a bad price though. It's not a bad price considering it's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, this is a beauty about some of the resorts and the resort hopping is. They have different items, different clothing there in the resorts. Different mugs. Oh, I like that mug. Ooh, I like that, Lily. Nice. They've got one very similar in. Um... Got this as well. They've got like a little Caribbean beach one. Yeah. They've got their own Caribbean beach pins. Pins like every resort has their own, and especially No Coronado has one. On their own pins. Yeah, so that's <gasps> They've got a Miss Piggy lounge fly. No. <gasps> and a Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, how cute. There. Hi, Hi there. You're right. So yes, yeah, so they have the usual pin trade in, magic bands, drink section, snack section, which is really good. So guys, after after searching this, I think we're gonna put the question as: Where would you rather stay, Caribbean Beach or Coronado? Ooh, Lily Grace. <gasps> That's a tough one. A tough one. Tough one now is that. We could have stayed at Coronado next year, but because we've been like resort hopping. I think I have to, I have to think after him, I have to make my mind up which one we want to stay at. You reckon? Yeah. Let's see, this is this looks nice though. It looks nice so far. And here comes Limpit. Blonde is here. Hi. <laughs> you look fancy dancing. He does actually, he looks quite fancy dancing today, does Reese. Even though he's got a swollen leg. Yeah, the 50th merch is still out. So good. So good. So that we're just in the lobby area now here. But I like these curtains. It looks really, really good. Really, really nice. There's the check-in areas. They'll be very similar 
Disney Cruise Liner, yes. So it's a very, very nice, very cool in here. Really do like it. Yeah? Right, let's have a wander down to Sebastian's. Lily? Are you coming? Too busy looking at the Disney Cruise Liner. Thank you. So, we've just come in here. All right, so we're there. So Sebastian Bistro's just there. There's a nice sized pool there. Looks really fancy. So the pool here has actually got a themed pool. So it looks really, really good. Play table tennis there. There's, unfortunately, there's lightning in the area at the moment. So I bet the pool's actually closed at the moment. Yeah, thought it would be. There's lightning in the area, so the skyliner's down, the the, nice. the actual fantasy, Festival of Fantasy Parade didn't go off no. today because of the lightning in the area. So they've got a nice slide there, yeah, they have not the little... They've got like a little play area cool. well. Nice little pool bar, spot on TV, which looks good. And then we're just going to walk around to Sebastian's and let's see what's Sebastian. Wow. Oh, this looks. Is that an adventure island? Look at the, wind, the lighthouse. No, little lighthouse know. looking across to the Riviera. It is. It's so cool. Yeah, it's a nice little resort, this. I don't know if you can hear in the background all the thunders, but this is, we're just sat waiting for our reservation for Sebastian's. We're just sat on the boardwalk. They'll shout us when they're ready. But over the lake is another part of Caribbean Beach. It's rather a big um, resort. But there you go. And across there you can just see in the distance the skyline above. So you can see that the, the gondolas are down because of the weather. And they're very, very close to Riviera as you can see. You actually take the Riviera entrance to come into um, Caribbean Beach when you come on the bus. So yeah, so it's... Um, very near. But it's a very, very nice resort. It's just uh, it seems rather large. So we've just uh, got settled down in our booth. We're in Sebastian's Bistro now. It is so lovely. It's really light and airy. Um, we've got a tiny little booth to ourselves. It's uh, easy seats for of us. Lily, what do you think? It's really fancy. It's like very light. Like in um, like three bridges. I know we went because obviously it was night time. I don't know when it looks like in the daytime. But it was like a very dark, very like calm restaurant. But this has got it's very light. You can look straight out onto the skyline, which is currently not up and running. Um, and you can also look out onto the lake and all the other like areas of the resort. And it is a massive resort. It's so fun. And I just ordered myself an iridescent. Oh, I see what that comes out like. See what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Cool. What have you got? Okay, guys. So I got the iridescent separation. So stop. So guys, I just got the iridescent separation. So it comes in this little 50th anniversary Walt Disney World bug. It's got like all the characters around, like it's got Stitch there, it's got Mickey, it's got Dumbo, it's got the 50th anniversary. Basically it's Minute Maid, premium lemonade and a fruity strawberry punch served in a souvenir 50th anniversary celebration cup with a surprise character and a little bit of magic. And the guy said, I need to put my character, which is Pluto, I need to put Pluto into my drink and I need to stir it around and the drink colour will change. Okay, so sorry about that guys, battery just died. So, um, like I was saying, I've got Pluto here. I'm going to dip him in the drink. So, Dissolved, dissolved into the bottom. No, Pluto! Pluto's gone, but you can see the colour changing. Yeah, that looks so cool. That's giving it that iridescent colour. Yeah. Alright, should we try it now? Oh my god, it's sparkly! Look at that, it's sparkly! So let's try it. Mm. 
Isn't that nice? So we've had the bread arrive and we've had the salad. The salad is completely all edible, even down to the leaves. That's and what did he say? I added a kiwi... Key lime dressing. Key lime dressing on it as well. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Does that. And we've had the shrimp arrive as well. So we've got six shrimp to share between me and Reese. Nobody else is allowed. Oh, sorry, Nadine would like some as well. Not allowed. <laughs> Two. So our mains now come. It looks so we've got chicken, pork and steak with a broccoli meat, a vegetable stew, and then a, a rice dish. What did you say it was cilantro rice? Cilantro and red beans. Red bean side. So look, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Even Lily got excited. Steaks on a mojito base. Yep. Um, and a, a sambal. A sambal to try for your It looks gorgeous. Are you looking forward to it, Lil? Oh, yes. Yep, I think we might need to order some more broccolini. So guys, that did not last long at all. That was absolutely gorgeous. Lily? Loved it. I got a second drink. Now she got a second cups. drink. <coughs> the food was delicious. The, the rice and everything was absolutely gorgeous. And there's Omar coming back to serve us again. So Omar's brought us our pineapple and oh, coconut, coconut bread pudding. Yeah, it's definitely not cream. orange bread pudding which is Reese's favourite, with a villainer ice cream and a homemade caramel sauce. So Lily, are you going to pour the caramel on? I don't want to wreck it, it looks so good. It does look absolutely gorgeous. Go on, pour that caramel on, Lily. This Make... is like the homemade one. That is a proper slab of but bread and butter pudding as well. So that yeah, looks I've left a little bit of dipping. Nice one. Right, let's dive in. So guys, we made very short work of that bread and butter pudding. It was absolutely gorgeous. Even Reese had a try of it, even though he doesn't like bread and butter pudding. But that was the banana and pineapple was gorgeous. The ice cream and the homemade caramel. Pineapple and coconut bread and butter pudding it was stunning so really was good really enjoyed tonight Sebastian is a plus definitely it. one that we would come to again um, the, the whole I loved it love yeah the whole vibe yep. of it everything was really really nice the food was absolutely gorgeous it's a set menu it's a set menu so you know you don't have much you don't there's no choice there but it was all the food was cooked wonderful Omar our server was absolutely brilliant as well really friendly really nice to get along with um, definitely one and Corey yep you got it right again the only thing you can actually choose is to drink yep and you had two of them so we've just come out of the restaurant and everywhere is soaked there has been a tremendous downpour and looking at the sky at the moment it's very very black very very dark oh my god everywhere's wet through and um, that was definitely a big downfall. You can hear the thundering in the background, so no wonder the pool's still empty. That does look an amazing pool though. It looks really good. That looks a really nice pool. So that's probably going to be they've worth a, a try. They've got a really good slide as well. Yeah. Then they've got um, little stairs there. They've got like a little play area there as well. A kiddies play, oh a kiddies water play area. Yeah, so I think it's like surrounded, I think it's in a pool of water. Right, that'll um, be nice. That would be nice, so we're going to go sit in the lobby, chill out for a little bit, let our tea settle uh, and then probably go catch the bus back to Magic. Lily's off for a wander. So guys, we're just leaving um, Caribbean Beach Hotel and it was it's a lovely hotel really do like the feel ambience there it's nice and quiet as well which was good um, the food in sebastian's was excellent um i like the theming the colors look at looking over the lake it looks a very big hotel it looks spread out a little bit around the lake uh, but other than that it looks really nice yeah it was lovely really yeah. really nice the food was absolutely delicious um we keep trying to find these little hidden gems so if anybody's got any any suggestions for us for next time we visit please let us know we've hidden done gems. um Madeline road 
uh, Space 220. Um, homecoming. Homecoming, check out homecoming. Sebastian. And, yeah. and we did three bridges. So yep. if anybody's got anything that they can add to that, we, did, we have done Bahama Breeze off property as well. So yeah, so if anybody can think of anything for us, please let us know. Yep, drop a note in the comments below and we'll have a look for next time we're out here. Ooh. So we are now going to head off to Magic Kingdom and get some princesses in. Lily's not had her princess fix this holiday. So she now wants to get some princess autographs and pictures and whatever else she can get. Um, she likes to be called a princess and so hopefully they'll call her a princess and we'll get into Magic Kingdom. Hopefully we'll stay for the fireworks but we'll see uh, how it goes. The weather looks a little bit grey at the moment but hey ho, it's still nice and warm. Guys, we're back in Magic Kingdom. We're going to try and get some princesses done. Uh, we're just walking down Main Street now. We're going to walk straight through the castle. It's open at this time, which is really good. Uh, and then we're going to go see, I think it's Tiana. Yeah. Is it Tiana we have to see? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so we'll get across to see, to hopefully get to see Tiana. I get to touch and then, the castle! Then we'll go see Mickey and Minnie. There's a stage. So we're just now walking through the castle in all its glory. It's quite busy up here at the moment. A lot of people coming through the castle trying to get pictures in front of the castle. Everybody stop starting. Look at the tapestry there. It's a mosaic. gold as well and it, it looks insane so that's like a really cool thing i'm gonna need you to close your eyes for me okay and i need you to think of your most wildest biggest dream that you possibly have can you do that for me all right are you ready all right close your eyes for me. and with a little faith trust and pixie dust may your wildest and biggest dreams end come true <laughs> Thank you! I got pixie dusted! You got pixie dusted? Are you happy about that? No, I love it! Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Minnie. Happy to see Mickey and Minnie. 
So guys, the, the fireworks are going on, so the girls have decided to, to stay in. We've just seen Mickey and Minnie, which was really great. Minnie even had a little bit of a play at the back end then uh, with us, which was good. So just looking at the, the, the station there, all lit up, it looks absolutely amazing. But me and Reese have decided to call it a night. Uh, we're going to head back to the hotel now, uh, get some rest. His knee's bad, my back's bad. Yeah, it's, it takes its toll out on you sometimes as this Disney trips, holiday trips. But the girls are staying to watch the fireworks for one last time before we go home on Saturday. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. So please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you're always notified when a new vlog goes live. Uh, we will try and do some more once we get home as well, just to keep you up to date on what's happening with Lily and how she's getting on with the Hammond and everything. But uh, what does she say now? Oh yeah. Remember, live your best life.